Trump disqualified from 2024 ballot, Colorado Supreme Court rules. The court's majority concluded the evidence showed Trump was disqualified from holding office because he engaged in insurrection, while the dissenters slammed the procedural Frankenstein, the Colorado Supreme Court took the unprecedented step of ordering Donald Trump removed from the 2024 presidential ballot on Tuesday, finding him constitutionally ineligible to hold future office. Trump's campaign said it would appeal the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. The Decorober 19. Unsigned opinion was the first by any state Supreme Court to address head-on the substantive arguments of Trump's, or any presidential candidate's, eligibility, given the allegations that Trump engaged in an insurrection on John the 6, 2021. We do not reach these conclusions lightly. We are mindful of the magnitude and weight of the questions now before us. We are likewise mindful of our solemn duty to apply the law without fear or favor and without being swayed by public reaction to the decisions that the law mandates we reach. The opinion from the four-justice majority read. The majority noted it had little difficulty, concluding there was sufficient evidence to deem the deadly mob attack of Jan. 6. An insurrection, and that Trump's own actions to stop the certification of President Joe Biden's victory were directly linked to the insurrection. Three justices dissented, Chief Justice Brian D. Boatwright and Justices Carlos A. Samor Jr. and Maria E. Birkencotter. Each took issue with the procedures of the eligibility challenge and did not dispute the substantive findings about whether Trump's actions amounted to insurrectionist, disqualifying conduct. The court put its ruling on hold to accommodate a likely appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. The first decision on the merits, the challenge to Trump's eligibility has rocketed through the courts since its filing in September with a looming deadline of Janney. 5. 2024 for Secretary of State Gina Griswold to certify the candidates for next year's primary. The petitioners who brought the case, four Republican and two unaffiliated voters, argued Trump cannot hold the presidency again under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, ratified in the wake of the Civil War. Section 3 disqualifies senators, U.S. representatives, and an officer of the United States, among others, from holding future federal or state office, 